Hello and welcome to today's session. Today we're going to look at how to upgrade a Moodle installation in a few easy steps using Soft Ticklers. I'm on my cPanel for this particular domain, which is called uh, Engage Learners, and I get notifications either by email or um, I go into the cPanel and I will see there are updates available. In this case, it's just one. So I'm going to click on it and then it takes me here. And notice there's the engagelearners.org and upgrade. Click on that. And then I can create a backup. In my case, I don't because uh, these are not huge sites. It's not really necessary, but I suggest you do. I suggest you do. Uh, create a backup. So I'm going to go straight into upgrade, click on that, and then wait until it comes up. It usually uh, takes a few seconds if you're there. That was really fast, right? If uh, your site doesn't have too many plugins. And then you go into the admin, click on that. It'll take you to the site. You won't have to um, log in initially, but then you will have to at some point. So you wait for that to happen. And of course, it depends on your connection. If your connection is slow, it'll take longer. If you have a lot of windows open, it'll take longer. So there it is. There is the new version of Moodle 4.2.3. Click on the continue and then you're going to be continuing this. If you have some plugins that need upgrades, you'll uh, do that first. That's always advice, but since I've already done it, I don't have to do that. So I'm just going to go with the main Moodle upgrade. Click on the continue. And as I said, uh, the speed will depend on how many windows you've got open in your browser. Now I notice I do have some in fact, so I'm going to first install the available updates, these plugins, diary, and uh, there was another one, uh, theme block selector. So there are two over there. Click on continue. And again, depending on the speed of your internet and the condition of your browser. Oh, I see there are three, so it must have been one from before for quiz reports. So you click on the upgrade Moodle database. So now it's going to upgrade everything. Okay, so here it goes. Uh, system upgrade, a mod diary, the block selector, and the quiz statistics. That comes first, and then uh, the rest will follow. And here it comes. Now you have to log in. So I'm going to log in with my Google account. This is something that I added. These uh, social services, such as Google, Facebook, Yahoo, and LinkedIn, notice I don't have Microsoft here. I normally do have Microsoft, but not in this case. And I'm logged in. That was really fast, right? And then um, I'm just going to save the changes. Now, there are some uh, new features in Moodle 4.2.3. And that's it. I'm using Move. If you're interested in Move, it's completely free. This is the free version, and I really, really like it. Notice site administration, you've got everything here. You can go into the plugins and check them out, see what's here uh, by going into overview. You generally get email notifications, but if you just come into the site and there's an update, it'll show up here. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions about upgrading from Moodle 4.2 to Moodle 4.2.3.